Welcome to our cooking show. We're going to have fun in the kitchen today. My name is Dan Oaks, and we've invited my wife, Kathy, to show us how to make, uh, what is this again? We're doing chili. chili. A big batch of chili. Because um, I wanted to show how you can use your freezer. I was going to say, why is this such a big batch? we got a lot of food here. Because I think your freezer should be your best friend really? in the kitchen. It is awesome. You can do so much ahead of time, and it'll save you so much work later on. That's it's true. Really yeah. Well, it's, there's nothing nicer than when we go, come home late, and then we just grab a bag out of the freezer. Yeah. Heat up some uh, spaghetti sauce, right? Mm-hmm. And bada bing, there's dinner. Or Not to mention, case. the way my mom did chili, yeah. She started with, we're gonna, I'm going to start browning the hamburger. It's a, a big six pound ground beef hamburger. Six pounds of ground beef in here. The way my mom did chili is she would cook a big pot of pinto beans and we would have cornbread and pinto beans for a couple days. Uh -huh. Then she'd smash some up for burritos and we'd have burritos for a couple days. And then she'd make chili at the end. And needless to say, it was a little hard on the digestive system. It wasn't very pleasant in our house. So I, I propose that you can make chili, and whenever you make chili, I think you should at least triple, maybe quadruple, the batch uh -huh. and freeze it. You don't have to eat it for a week. You can eat it this week, and you can eat it once next week, and once in a month from now. Yeah. And it's a great way to eat your chili. You know, a lot of those concepts we share in our cooking Freezer Meals CD. Here, hold this for a second, will you, while we're waiting for that to heat up? Okay. This is our Cookin' Freezer Meals CD. Cookin' is a recipe organizer that we offer on CD-ROM. Allows you to put all of your own recipes into the computer. And you can do a whole lot of things with them. You can plan menus and make grocery shopping lists. And the software will make the shopping list for you automatically. And this particular one here is designed with these freezer meal concepts in mind because some things you can't freeze very well like potatoes when you take them out of the freezer like we tried to stew one time with potatoes and it. it wasn't very good because <laughs> the potatoes get real mushy and you know there's some things you when just you're can't freeze freezing potatoes you can't freeze it in liquid because it gets right. all the mushy. so there's some things you can do and there's some things you cannot do chili you can it comes out really good and there's a whole bunch of other ideas on here there's uh, over a hundred recipes but there's also information on how you can take your own recipes and make freezer meals out of them, you know, by just holding back some of the ingredients and adding them after you take it out of the freezer. You know, Speaking so. of my best friend, the freezer, I don't even have to chop onions because you can see these oh, are all frozen. Just take them out I, of the ha I chopped these a long time ago. When I buy onions, I buy a whole bag or two and I chop them all. And I stick them in these Ziploc bags and I kind of fill them a little bit thin. That way, um, my husband loves omelet, omelets, so if he wants to just break off a little tablespoon or two to, for omelets, um, he has omelets, or I can use the whole bag. In this case, I'm using two of my bags because we're going to have chili. Takes, huh? And you can do the same with green peppers. You can do the same with lots of your vegetables. I make a carrot chowder. Oh, that carrot chowder! So with good. the recipe that's on our website in our recipe uh -huh. archive. Fabulous, and I always triple the batch, and we always freeze some. Mm -hmm. But this time, I it takes a lot of chopping. It's got it's loaded with vegetables, and the kids love it. But this time, I chopped. You know what? I'm gonna go get it and show you. Go, go get I'll it. I'll be right yeah. back. Okay, I forgot about this. I did this the other day, and this is enough of vegetables to make another triple batch with my carrot chowder. It's got celery on the bottom, green pepper, and onion on the top. So when you make your carrot chowder, you just take this out of the freezer. And I've got all my chopping all done. done for yeah. the next three times we have carrot chowder, but that'll make that will make nine meals for us, and one we eat then and eight we eat for Yeah, us. yeah. Okay, <laughs> how's this looking here? It's looking great. We need to add the garlic. In my opinion, you can never have too much garlic. I love garlic in everything, and you can never have too much of it. It is good. Yeah. And here's a little trick I learned. Whenever I do things with ground beef, tacos, sloppy joes, ham, um, chili, anything, I add these grated matchstick carrots to, or I shred carrots in the blender, and um, they pick up any flavor that you put with them, and they just add a little bit more. They, they make it a little more no, healthy. No, the kids get the vegetables. They get the vegetables. Yeah, and, you're, and it makes it a little more helpful, huh? Yes. And you're eating food. Exactly. A little healthy. A little healthy. Exactly. It's very simple. 
You want to make sure these carrots get good and tender too when you do it. And they will when you put in the other wet ingredients, you know. Now we're just browning the ground beef. Ground beef. Now this is a whole bunch of tomato sauce and a whole bunch of tomatoes. I use a mixture of both. Oops. Thanks for the double splatter on me because of this. Take cover, take cover. <laughs> <laughs> and this, I say whatever kind of beans you like, that's what beans you use. I have some pinto beans, I have some chili beans, and I have some kidney beans, kidney beans in here. But like I say, my mom would do pin straight pinto beans. She would, um, like I say, cook up a huge pot, and we'd eat them for days. This pot isn't quite big With enough all for all the beans. Flies. Now I'm about to tell you my secret family recipe for my chili. You'll have to keep it secret. Chili seasoning mix. <laughs> I love it. It's got everything done. Why not? <laughs> you add some you add some carrots, onions, and garlic to it, and it's perfect. <laughs> keep it simple, Inside. sweetie, like I always say. <laughs> yeah, I like the sweetie. <laughs> and then I always need to add a little more chili powder to mine. With this, I'm going to have to add a lot more because it's a, such a mega pot. And that is it for my chili. After you've enjoyed the chili for as long as you want, and it's completely cooled off, I use, I use these Ziploc gallon-sized freezer bags because my family's big. I fill them, zip them, freeze them, and we pull it out whenever we want. We've got nice, tasty chili. And you only have to cook it once, because I like to, like I say, I like to cook my ch chili for like two hours. So all the seasonings can marry in. And, and it gets uh, thicker. Right. But when you pull it out of the freezer, you heat it up and you go. Good and to go. Awesome. Yeah. It's so nice to have homemade meals in the freezer. It saves eating out. It saves money. It saves, it saves calories. It saves time. <laughs> Fat grams. Mm -hmm. Now the other thing so. she does too is, um, when I was a kid, we always ate, ate chili with crackers, you know, but she uses, uh, what is it, Fritos? Right? Corn chips is the only way to eat chili. Corn you know, it, it's funny because um, we've always eaten them that way. And then later on, they came out with chili flavored corn chips. Mm. And I like to think that they copied our family to that. I think they did. I think they did. <laughs> In fact, I ran into um, one of my friends from when I was, I had to be 10 years old. And I ran into her again and she said, I always remembered you because you ate corn chips with your chili. <laughs> and I still do that today because of you. Anyway, you should try it. It's really, it really is good. good. Yeah, it's really <laughs> and that's the chili in a That's pretty shit. much it. Thank you so much, sweetie, for coming on and sharing this recipe with us. <laughs> and thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoy your chili. And we hope you'll come back and see us again next time.